Yesi yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at a very interesting developing story. KPA boss William Ruto put on the spot over unexplained Kenya shillings 1.9 billion spending. Auditor General flagged Kenya shillings 214.6 million paid as overtime allowances to 1,337 employees who worked eight hours a day among other discrepancies. This man, William Ruto, was appointed KPA boss just a few months ago. And in the few months, you have seen KPA has lost 1.9 billion Kenya shillings. For the few months he has been in office, already KPA has lost 1.9 billion Kenya shillings. And about 214 million has been traced to have been paid to some workers as overtime. Workers who worked eight hours a day. So you are seeing overtime is being forced. These workers never worked overtime, but <laughs> fake overtimes are being paid. Yes. <laughs> this is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to see in clear terms what's going on at KPA. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any other person who may want to support our forum, because some have been asking for that, contact me through that number below. You can also send your coffee or tea through that number. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Let's dig deep. Yes. Let me start by saying this. The figure might even be more than the 1.9 billion Kenya shillings that the Auditor General has flagged. I'm seeing a very high possibility where the figure is far much higher than that. This William Ruto, I'm very sure that he was put in that position in order to be used as a conduit of corruption. And I'm saying that because it has already been revealed that there are some individuals who are calling shots in this government. For you to get a top government position, like KP, KPA boss or the head of a department or whichever in Ruto's government, then some people, around four people, very powerful in this government, must approve of you. And that was revealed by Seth Panyako. Seth Panyako, in fact, went ahead to mention the people, people like Adendwale, Ruto himself, Rigadiga Shagwa, and some other individuals who must approve of you. So the boards in these organizations can just do their work, but the ultimate say must come from those individuals in the government. So that goes on to prove that these parastatals, these government departments are not working independently. They are being controlled for most definitely state house. So this man was put there to be used as a conduit of corruption. 
that's something coming out very, very clearly. And then I just don't know why Kenyans are not listening. And when I talk about Kenyans, I'm talking specifically to the mountain and Kalenji Rift Valley and some other Kenyans in other regions who are a little bit tempted to trust this government. Before William Ruto became the president, it's a fact his name was mentioned in several allegations of corruption. Those are things in the public domain. He was mentioned in several numerous allegations of corruption. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Some Kenyans thought that all those were just politics. And William Ruto used to defend himself that he was being targeted politically. All these things were in the public domain. Some Kenyans with all those allegations went ahead and elected William Ruto and his team. Kenyans should expect more of this because Ruto himself, his integrity as a person is questioned. So Kenyans should expect more of this. And I'm saying that again because there was also the initial scandal of the edible oil imports, the one that made Moses Korea insult NTV. NTV exposed that people very close to William Ruto were given the express authority to import edible oil tax-free into the country. Upon importing the edible oil into the country, the cartels sold it to the government at a higher price. The government then sold it to some cartels. That importation alone, Kenya's government lost about 10 billion Kenya shillings. And we were told from that expose by NTV that those who did that importation were people close to William Ruto. So it goes out without saying that corruption in this government is being sanctioned by the highest office in the land. And that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. So you are just seeing clearly where the problem lies. What next now for Kenyans? For those who have been following me here, I've maintained that the, the best way or the next, <coughs> the next step of action or course of action, Kenyan should start by rejecting William Ruto and leaders supporting him. And they can start that by rejecting these leaders supporting him. The members of parliament, the senators, governors, MCAs, any leader saying he must work with this government for development, that's a leader seeking his own personal gain. He or she should be rejected. I'm very sure that if such leaders are rejected, then they are going to be cowed and they'll start oversighting this government. And William Ruto and his team will not have this leeway they are now getting where they just loot from public coffers and they are doing it with impunity. Yes. Kenyans still have that power. Just be hostile to any leader supporting William Ruto. And you be hostile as provided for in the constitution. Because now our country we are seeing total anarchy setting in. We are even people are now being told that they should forcefully withdraw court cases, failure to which Watasafirishwa Binguni. 
start with these elected leaders saying they are working with Rutum for development. This is no development. This is pure corruption. And if you look at the ethnic balance in the government, only two communities dominating. All those are just breeding corruption. So Kenyans should be very careful when electing a leader. A leader's past track record can give you an insight onto who that leader is. Don't ignore the leader's past track record. If a leader is known not to be keeping promises, that leader, even in future, he or she won't keep promises. If the leader is corrupt, even in future, that leader will still be corrupt. That's something coming out very clearly, ladies and gentlemen. Let me stop it there for now. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any part, person or anybody who wishes to send some coffee, contact me through that number below. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.